What's up, guys? So I am in Texas. I'm going to try to do sort of these daily just take a minute and talk videos um, as I make a way back to California before I start doing something that's a little bit more structured. Um, so I'm just shooting this one today to talk about two huge questions that people probably have about the new uh, van build setup, whatever you want to call it. Um, and there were two items that I was always on the fence about, and that's the porta potty and the sink. I lived almost two years in my minivan with neither a porta potty or a sink. If you have any questions about how I went to the bathroom or, or washed up or any of those things, the best video to watch is my video about my three buckets. Um, it was actually a pretty well performing video. I'll try to link a card. Um, so people can check that out if they're interested. And um, that system worked really well for me. The only thing I really hated in the minivan was that I didn't have a place to set up my uh, stove permanently. And that's what I gained when I got this van. But it also already had a sink that only needed a water pump installed. Otherwise, it was just set into the countertop and it had a porta potty um, and I went back and forth about the porta potty. I found ways to make it work better um, and be less annoying. But the thing is, it was space consuming. And after I decided that I wanted Mickey to have a cat tree, if you're wondering where Mickey is, that's his cat tree, which he's normally in. He's in that thing a lot. And there he is, enjoying all the floor space that we have now. And so because I already had a method I liked with a collapsible bucket and a folding toilet, the porta potty wasn't really something where it was like, oh, it's such a relief to have this. In some ways, it was actually harder. Um, and I've been afraid for, for people's judgment for me deciding not to keep it. Um, that, that's that been a big fear of mine, or is people are going to be like, somebody tried to upgrade you and you just didn't appreciate it. The fact is, I didn't like it. Like, a van is small. And when I was at um, the truck stop today, and I saw the comparable size between even a small RV and my van, it really did justify in my mind to me that I made the right decision. Something with a use like a toilet, having a permanent space in my van when there were other ways I personally wanted to use the space just didn't make sense to me. So I was so happy. I've been perfectly happy since I left Oklahoma to not have the porta potty in here. So no more porta potty. Sink. There was nothing wrong with the sink except that it was honestly too big. Um, and at the end of the day, a water pump uses electricity. It has to be hooked up to electricity to be able to be used. When I was in the minivan, I basically had a little cheap metal um, sort of shelving unit. And I had it right against uh, the driver's seat. And I strapped my um, water jug to that. And I, when I got rid of the minivan, I let go of the water jug. Um, I think I gave it to Meek when I gave him the minivan. Um, and so when I didn't have the minivan anymore, I, I transitioned completely to using the sink that was installed in the van. And again, it was the thing I always had mixed feelings about because, um, I was using so much more water and therefore having to buy water more frequently. I went back to washing with a spray bottle anyway, which is what I have been doing. And I know a lot of RVers who have legit setups that still use the spray bottle method to control sort of the amount of water that they use and so I have gone back to having a water jug no sink gravity fed water when this is full I can open the speak it I just put whatever I want to put under it including if I, I have a collapsible dish pan again so if I need a dish pan which most of the time I don't most of the time I just spray everything and wipe it down like most of the time I don't need this big thing to soak in. And even when I brush my teeth, I can spray the toothbrush with this, you know, to kind of rinse it off after to get all the toothpaste off and everything. So like there's really nothing I needed the sink for. And it was so huge and took up so much space. And ultimately for me and how I live in a van, I needed to gain back that space for storage. The main thing I wanted a larger van for 
was storage and now I feel like I've restored that and gained floor space even with Mickey's tree in here when I had the porta potty and Mickey's tree it was it was so crowded also the bed ends at a better placement and overall like it was just the right decision to let go of those two items um I, there could be a future design with a smaller sink setup, but honestly, it's not that important to me. I've lived without a sink since I moved into my car. I lived for almost two years in my minivan without a sink. I was fine without it. And it's another one of those things that once it takes up permanent space for only those brief moments that you're using it, um, it can become annoying. So the grand thing I wanted to gain with a larger van um, was the ability to have my stove out permanently and not be putting it underneath my bed. That was annoying. And the larger space has allowed me to do that. I have a permanent place where the stove is kind of permanent. I can move it out the way when I use it. You want to use the countertop. But I found, honestly, just leaving it on the countertop is fine. Even with the smaller countertop I have now, which once I get to a tour, um, I'll, I'll talk about a little bit more. Even with the smaller countertop, I still have, like, dead space in front of the stove. And it's accomplishing exactly what I needed to accomplish without... Um, sort of the things that were clunky about the old setup. It's it's just better for me personally and how I live in a van. And I know there's going to be people out there, again, who are going to be mad at me and be like, well, if I don't see how I, they'll, they'll be mad at me. Ever since I've gotten this van, if there was any way I wanted to change it, people have come at me with um, how ungrateful I am. And I am so grateful. I would not be able to have a pet right now if I had not gained this space and it was only because I had this amount of space I felt I was ready to take the step of having a pet pet that and um sort of the changing landscape of of what I see for my future but the space was definitely a big factor I could not imagine my life without Mickey right now and I could not imagine have Mickey making the choice to get Mickey if I had arrived in Baltimore with um a a minivan it just wouldn't have been logical even going through all the emotional stuff I went through when I was there I wouldn't have gotten a pet I don't think not not in that situation um so I'm very grateful to have more space, but the layout, it wasn't mine. But at the same time, it's because I lived in that layout um, and sort of made this trip that I got to feel out what didn't and what did work about it. Like, for example, the bed honestly hasn't changed. It's just been expanded out so that there's enclosed storage underneath. And so it's taken advantage of all the space. That little walkway that I had between what used to be the storage on this wall over here and a smaller bed wasn't worth anything. And all I was doing on a daily basis, honestly, was storing stuff in that dead space so that I had the floor space in front of me because I didn't want to take that space away. Um, and so I learned that because of the layout that was in here when I got the van. But I also knew ultimately it needed to be changed. I also found out I actually do like having store, uh, storage right here. And I don't think that's a layout I would have came up with if the layout that was in here hadn't been in here. Um, but the porta potty and the sink just were not important when I was able to gain back that space to use in a way that was more important to me um and more conducive to how i live in a van uh, he's in his tree now so i'm gonna turn you guys around there he is see that cat tree and this floor space because we play with his little fishing line toy in the space a lot that was so much more important to me than a porta potty and a sink and because i decided to eliminate those things it actually just made living in the van better um not just for me but for me and the cat and this is both of our home. And I want to embrace space in a way that makes it the best possible for both of us to be comfortable and have everything we need. Um, another thing I gained with all this floor space. Ooh, look at this. My little legs wiggling. Um, is now it's much easier for me to put a folding table up and work from the bed. 
Um, so that's also another advantage I gain by eliminating those two items. Like, I just don't need them. Any plumbing in a van is an illusion. Um, you know, basically the sink was just pulling up from a jug. So why not just sit the jug, have a little spigot on the end, <laughs> and let gravity do the work. No water pump, no electricity. Um, it, it's it's easier. Um, and my collapsible toilet method, which I won't go into, um, you can check out my three buckets video if you're interested. It, what can I say? It, it was just better for me. It's what I'm used to. And it's not a big deal not to have the porta potty.